Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Icy Window back with another video here on New England Mountains. This is going to be our quick guide to New England Mountains. I'm going to tell you guys what some drink zones are, feed zones, etc. and where you can find all of the animals on this map. Now, this is very quick and this is just what I have experienced in this game. Other people may tell you elsewise, but I'm just giving you where I have found these animals, where I have found these drink zones, and I'm not going to be going over the loadout. If you want a good loadout for this, go check out the last video that I made. Uh, card should be above right now. Uh, that goes over, first thing, the loadout that I'll use on this map, all the base guns, you don't need any DLCs. And if you guys do enjoy this uh, video, this quick guide, be sure to leave a like down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you will be getting more and more New England Mountains uh, content. And with that being said, let's get into the first animal. So the first animal I'm covering today is the Bobcat. The Bobcat will drink from 3 to 6.30 and... They actually do drink at the same time as the common raccoon, but in completely different areas. So you can see up here, the yellow circles uh, is where I have found the most of my bobcats. I've seen them on the right-hand side there along that river, as well as all the upper lakes. I'm sure along that upper river, they are up there as well. They do feed at various times throughout the day, so it's kind of hard to say when they're going to be where. And they are a class 3 animal, so you're going to need something like, you know, the basic Ranger 243 or something like that to take them down. But that should be plenty for the job. The Bobcat is technically a new species here, but it looks identical to the Mexican Bobcat and acts just like it in its running patterns and everything like that. And while we are talking about it, our next animal is the common raccoon. So the common raccoon does drink at the same time as the bobcat, like I said, and it is in completely different areas. So you can see down there at the bottom in all the gray circles is where I have found most of my raccoons uh, along that river and at those lakes in the southern part of the map. Now, there are raccoons in other places, mostly along the river, but down here in the southern part of the map is where I have found most of my raccoons. Now, do remember the raccoons are now level or class two animals, and so you must take them with a vital shot in order to get the full trophy score. And now moving on to white-tailed deer and moose. Now, the reason I'm putting them together is that they drink at the same time, 8 to 12.30, and their zones overlap so much. Now, I have found the best place to do both of these animals is along the river so you can go pretty much the entire way around the map and that little river going through the middle now you will notice that there are a, a lot of single moose drink zones so that is going to make the great one grind that much harder because you're only going to get a single moose now that moose may even be a female too so you're not even going to get a bull moose there to count towards your great one grind it is also worth mentioning that both the deer and the moose both got model reworks and the moose also got some new animations when they get hit they can now become aggressive when you get close to them uh, probably within a hundred meters 100 yards whichever system you're going to use and they no longer drop from a heart shot they will take about four to five steps before they drop even if you do hit them with that seven millimeter empress right in the heart or that new muzzle loader that comes with the map and because their zones line up so perfectly, you could start at that start of the drink time at that eight o'clock, make your way around and knock out both grinds for that great one white tail and that great one moose. So the next group of animals we got are the red fox and the gray fox. So both of them drink from 17 to 20 or 17 to 20, 30, depending on which exact drinks when you have, but they are in completely separate areas. So the red fox, as you can see on the map right now, is on the left hand side. So you can see at those lakes at the bottom, the two lakes up top along that top left of the river is where I have found most of my red foxes. And now switching over to the gray fox map, as you can see, it is mostly on the right hand side. And we've got lakes and rivers down on the bottom right hand side and up down the river, you know, on the right hand side of the map. Now, this is not meaning that this is exclusively where they are at. I have seen some interchangeably on the left and right hand side, depending on which one. But for the most part, they are separated into this left and right side. So if you're focusing on gray, stick to the right side. If you're focusing on red fox, stick to the left side. 
Now the next animal that we got very similar in size to the fox is the coyote. Coyotes will drink from 0 until 3 or 3.30 on this map depending on which drinks on you're at. Meaning you will need your night vision uh, to be able to see these guys. It will be pitch black and you can see right there on the map big question mark. Coyotes I have not been able to figure out yet. They are everywhere. Um and just not in one little spot however down there in the southern regions in those lakes i have seen them and i have seen some tracks and so maybe that's where their feed zone drink zones kind of are but i would not be surprised if there are some up in the northern parts as well coyotes have just been all around now coming up on the third and final great one possibility on this map, the black bear. The black bear on this map drink from 20 to 0 or 0 30 and I have found the most of them along the rivers as the uh, white tail and the moose that I talked about earlier but more so on the upper and on the right hand side of the map. Now the right hand side of the map myself and some other uh, people that I've seen have been saying that there are a lot more females on the right hand side now i don't know if that's just our luck or if that's actually how that is but so i would venture to say try to stay up towards the top there uh next to the belknap wilderness or the greenly wilderness up there to try to get some males for that great one grind but they like i said they drink at 20 to zero you're going to need your night vision goggles again and so if you're going to go for your coyote if you're going to go for your bear Start with your bear. As soon as the bear start finishing up, then the coyote drink time starts. And for the last non-bird species of this map, we've got the eastern cottontail rabbit, whose feed times are actually all throughout the day. There's some that start at 4, there's some that start at 7, there's some that start at 17. Uh... They're, they're all over the day. Now, I have had the best luck seeing them actually down on that middle river and in the lower parts of the map. Other people say that they've seen a lot up near the Greerly Wilderness, the Bellcap Wilderness up there on those uh, that river. But their feed zones have been pretty consistently along that river. So while you're looking for your moose, while you're looking for your whitetail, stay on the lookout for some eastern cottontail rabbits. So the first bird species here on this map is the eastern wild turkey with feed times from 8 to 11 and then a little bit later 14 to 17. Now I have found these turkeys pretty widespread throughout the map but by far the best place that I have found is right off of the start. That little area on the right hand side of the map along that river along in those fields in those forests up in there they seem to be absolutely everywhere if you are in a forest that it's the orangish yellow red leaves not so much the spruce but the orange yellow red leaves they will be there use your turkey collar use your crow collar get some turkeys i'm serious if there's ever a great one turkey a great one eastern wild turkey this is the map that i'm going to grind it on because they seem to be absolutely everywhere up there in the top right hand portion of this map now the next one the northern bobwhite quail this one you see i don't have a feed time for i just don't know much about these quail i do know i have seen them up there in the top portions of the map that seems to be where they're at the mostly not saying that they aren't anywhere else in the map but do remember this uh granite update kind of brought like a a new like spook radius into it so these uh bobwhite quail the pheasants all the birds all the animals seem to spook a lot farther away so make sure you do creep up before you know bum rushing them into there with your shotgun to try to take them out once you know where they are at and now we've got what i believe may be the hardest animal to hunt on this map the ring-necked pheasants and the reason that i say they are so hard is a i haven't really figured out where they're at uh but b it's not it's not wide open like a rancho del arroyo uh where you can really see them from far away there's all these woods and you know these forests that they can hide in and it makes it really 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 hard um there are some fields so down there in the bottom left hand corner there are some like corn fields pumpkin fields stuff like that where i have seen them i have seen a feed zone down there in the bottom left hand corner where there was about eight or nine of them in that feed zone uh so and i have killed a few down at that very bottom left hand lake I also have been told that they are up in the top left hand corner, which makes sense up there with, you know, the Bob, the Bob Whites and all the other uh, Upland game birds makes sense. Now, 
there may be some in the bottom right hand corner too with all those fields but i have a feeling they're everywhere but these pheasants are really really hard to hunt just because they have so much cover on this map and finally for this map we have the ducks we've got the eurasian green wing teal we got the mallard and we got the golden eye i am throwing these all together basically because they all eat at the same time basically uh they got various different ones the best one that i've seen i think was 17 to 19 something like that or 15 to 17 something like that but down here in the southern half of the map is where i've had my best luck also up there like you guys see which one I'm talking about? It kind of looks like a backwards four. Left-hand side, the top one on the left-hand side. Yeah, that one. I've also seen a good number of them there as well. Basically, if you're walking around a lake and there's ducks flying over you, that means they will land there at some point. Uh, so, but I have had my best luck down there in the bottom. I've also had some pretty good luck on the far right-hand side uh, where you can see that duck, uh, like the decoy. Uh, logo i've had some pretty good luck there that's actually where this video behind this is being filmed is at that lake right there and some golden eye come in some mallards come in um i've had good luck with the green wing teal down there in the bottom left hand lake uh that's where i've shot some before but yeah pretty much any any lake there's going to be ducks set up some decoys set out a layout blind get your calls ready wait for them to fly over give that call a good blow give it a good call i don't know what you want to call it and wait for those ducks to start pouring in and you will have yourself some pretty good ducks so i hope you guys have enjoyed this little quick guide to new england mountains i am loving this game i am loving this new reserve i am learning more and more about it every time that i play it and i've been playing a lot of it let me tell you that but i hope this guide is helpful for you i hope you get out there get some massive diamonds you grind for those great ones you can get the great one white tail the great one black bear and the new the new great one moose but i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you all in the next hunter call of the wild video stay safe everyone peace